Aren't they so pretty? Mm -hmm. This morning, we're continuing our conversation about DC's beloved cherry blossoms. We told you yesterday about that so-called indicator tree. Mm -hmm. It's officially starting to bid or bud, so the rest of the cherry blossoms aren't too far behind. Uh, but as you know, it's only February, so right. we wanted to know, is cherry blossom season getting earlier? I believe Rico turned to the National Park Service, the Environmental Protection Agency, and our very mm -hmm. own WUSA 9 weather team to verify. Soon these sidewalks will be bustling beneath the cherry blossoms bloom. Heat is a driver for bringing flowering trees. They've had a warm winter's welcome. We're probably going to see the cherry blossoms earlier than the historic average date. That historic average peak, when 70% of blossoms are in full bloom, is April 4th. Expecting an early show isn't new this year. We can verify, yes, the nation's most iconic foliage is springing up sooner than it used to. We are certainly seeing a correlation between rise of average temperatures and earlier blossom, blossoming of the cherry blossoms. EPA data shows peak bloom dates are about a week earlier than a century ago, and the peak bloom has actually happened before April 4th, 16 of the past 20 years. The agency explains other environmental factors impact peak bloom timing too, but scientists are confident a warming climate is the main contributing factor to earlier spring sites like cherry blossoms. Still, predicting the peak isn't an exact science. It's not as simple as saying, we had this average temperature for the month and therefore the, the blossoms are going to come out this early. 2019 is a perfect example. That was the third warmest winter on record. But the cherry blossoms still held off until April 1st. Even with budding excitement over this year's bloom, Washington's favorite flower faces growing threats from a warming planet. There are questions about how does it affect pollinators, for example, bee species that are so vital to making sure that, that the trees are, are pollinated and, and come out. Here around the tidal basin, there are areas that flood twice a day during uh, high tide because uh, there is a difference in the level of the tidal basin by about four feet since it was first built. It becomes an, an increasing challenge for park managers and for park visitors as well. Okay, we're here with Chester Lampkin now because we are talking about the climate. We're talking about weather. Yes. We're talking about this winter, but how does this winter stack up historically? Right, so we do know this is the fourth warmest winter on record so far. Still mm -hmm. some winter left, and the, the records uh, officially start for winter on the 1st of December. That winter, that, that 89 90 winter, when we had that earliest peak bloom, was cooler than this, this winter, but yeah. still warmer than average. And what's really interesting, I think what's most important, and you and I were discussing this before this, is that lead up right up to when the, the budding right. would begin. And I was looking at the records, there was no snow in that winter of 18, uh, 18, uh, rather 1989-1990 uh, mm -hmm. in January and February. No snow at all in D.C., temperatures were above average, and during that peak bloom we hit 80 or warmer five days in a row, including an 89 degree temperature on the 12th of March that year. Wow, so it really warmed things up and it shows right. how much that impacts, uh, th that late winter impacts that early spring exactly. as well. And I think it's interesting too, because talking about the temperatures and what we would hope to see, even if the blossoms peak early, we might not want it to stay too warm if right. we want the cherry blossoms to stick around. Yeah, you know, the experts say we want the temperatures to cool off a right. bit and it extends that, that peak bloom. So that's the ideal condition. So far with it being so warm, I wouldn't be surprised if we were challenging that record so we'll have to see what happens uh, weather's very variable of course yeah but that's why we have you yeah exactly that's <laughs> why we're here right exactly thanks Chester